What's up you guys? Welcome back to Rent This Flip That. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at this sad vanity right here. All right, so let's take a look here as you can see. This is, it looks just like it's some kind of MDF covered in some type of plastic, plastic material you see. And so I took a look at this and took it apart and was like, wait a minute. It still has the profile and everything underneath there. So I wonder if that could just be painted because I mean, it's still got the panel and everything. And then I got the drawer over here and it's, it's wrapped in the same thing, see, so it still has the profile. Uh, so I'm thinking we can save this thing. Let's take a look inside. Whoa. Yeah, I mean, this thing has seen its better days. I used to do cabinet installations, so I had to do a lot of skinning on cabinets and going in and maybe touching up some cabinets that somebody else had installed because there was holes and stuff everywhere. Now I looked online like Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist and things like that for either free vanities or inexpensive vanities and what I found in my time frame what I'm looking for was somewhere around 90 bucks so I figured with the material that I had sitting here at the job I could probably go ahead and fix this thing myself. So if you guys have an old vanity at the house you've been thinking about throwing it out now is your opportunity to take and learn something that I do today or just get inspiration from it and come up with your own ideas on how to save that old vanity. So let's jump right in. Well, they tried everything. Little tiny nails. If they put nails through there, that'll be all right. Let me fix that. They put it there and there. Look at I love these little tools, by the way. It's like $15 and it hooks up to your air compressor and your air hose. You fill it up with paint and you can test it out right here, whatever, see how it works, see how big you want it. But this thing turns, so right now it's meant to go up. And then you can flip it to go this way. Can you adjust the fan to open up wider? Oh, yeah. Adjust the fan here. You can adjust somehow. Tell me what you mean by fan. Well, I don't have a clear spot, but yeah, I'll do it back. Well, no. You can explain what the fan. Yeah, is. that's fine. It's just how big it, it sprays open. So I've been spraying on this, like when I go clean it out, or I'm gonna spray something new after, and it'll show me sort of how big it covers. Okay. So like this is for up and down. See how I went that way and it made that little line? So you gotta go up and down and make a line.
These cabinets used to be dark brown, and so when I painted them, you can see this crack where you can see like the black still in it. So um, I painted it lots of times. So we're gonna put a little caulk in the crack so you can't see the black line anymore, and it really just needs a little bit. So after we cock it, we'll let it dry. We'll come back and paint it again. Yeah, we'll do all the cracks. are going to be inside. I just measure this, which is standard at three quarter inch. So I'm going to go downstairs and cut some three quarter inch blocks so we can nail them to the back of that false drawer front. And I'll show you how to attach that without having to draw screws to the front. All right, I'll be right back. All right, so I've cut these blocks. These are three quarter inch blocks and there's no real specific place that they need to be. They just don't need to be over here towards the end where it's in this assembly over here. So I'm just going to slide it over a little bit and drop it right there. And I've already checked these nails. I got eight and a quarter nails so they won't come through. So I'm going to try one stick and just double check and make sure I didn't blast through the other side. Beautiful. We're still looking good. All right. So I'm going to put four more nails in. That's going to hold my block on. And then uh, I'll just measure here with my pencil here. And we'll just come over to it again. About the same distance. Put that right there. Inside here, like this. It's already feeling pretty snug, just like that. It held. It held. So there we go. And I can adjust it so it's dead centered where I want it over here. And now I've got these one inch screws, and these will be our locking blocks. So the one inch will just pile through the quarters real quick, like that, and grab onto that right there. And then this will make it to where I can adjust them. That one's attached on that side.
23 gauge brown and yellow too. You already know what it is, it's that PL3X. back there so I'm gonna seal those up with um, this great stuff right here and it's the reusable one I haven't ever used that one before so we'll see how it goes and I think also Z put a skin on the bottom of this so I think that was silicone around the edges so no liquids get under it and then stay there because you can't get to them all right that's what we're doing now all right, I took these, um, here's a good one. I took these off of these, I was cleaning them up and they go somewhere on here, and, but they were dirty. See, it's real dirty. So I'm thinking, I thought first I'll pressure wash them, but then I thought maybe that's a little too much. So we'll just take a toothbrush and some Comet and it works amazingly. So. Um, that's what we're doing right now, is just cleaning these up and ready to get them installed. We are in the bathroom and the, this has all been installed and this is on and I've got the drawers put together. I've got to put the knobs on or the handles and we're going to put this all back together. All right, we've been having some issues and so this is what I've got so far. I know you can't see it, but this side over here had these little white things to put the screws in and they kept falling out the back and I can't pull the cabinet back off. These have these dark ones and I can grab a hold of them back here with my needle nose pliers and hold it so it'll turn in. So I put different screws in these and then this screw right here to attach it here. So I'm gonna do the rest of it. Um, I'm gonna do the rest of it. So maybe I can set you right here. So I can come back here like this. I don't remember how I did it. I stuck my finger in here somehow. Not like that. Okay. And then I can grab a hold of it like that. And then. Okay, 
So now all we have to do is put the doors on and this thing is ready for a top. Say Kelly did a pretty good job in painting these right here. They she sprayed them and, and actually used that little spray, you know, the thing that has a little cup on top of the spray that you hook to your air compressor. We use that from Harbor Freight, so if that surprises you, it actually surprised me too. And actually laid down a pretty good coat of paint, so and I'm not disappointed in this at all. So we took that old vanity and we made it new. The drawers work. I was going to rebuild the sides and everything and Kelly said no the sides look good we just need new inner parts so we just built new inner side parts and you know this is what it looks like so it's not bad hey you guys saw that thing that thing was destroyed so I think it may look a whole lot better so I'm gonna put this other door on put these uh, handles on and this thing's about done. The sink is hooked up, the countertop is installed, and it, it's actually attached to the cabinet this time, whereas when I first came in, it, none of these countertops were attached to the cabinets at all. <laughs> all right, here we go. While we're here, I wanted to show you something. If your cabinet doors, when you close them, See how we have this is very uneven. This is lower than this. Well, you can adjust these, okay, to go up and down by just loosening the screws. That's why the slot is is slotted like that, so you can actually loosen the screws and slide the cabinet up and down. I got a little tight there. I tightened it down. Anyway, just get it to where it matches, and right there, I'll push it up as high as it'll get up, and I'm gonna tighten it down. Okay, now take a look. You see how it's actually bigger on the top than it is on the bottom down there? That can be adjusted as well, and by adjusting the top over, it'll kind of bring it down a little bit too, so these will be a little bit closer. I'll show you how to do that. Inside here, you have these adjustable screws, okay? There's one right here that you can't see, and that, it brings the cabinet this way and that way. See, I'm bringing it this way, and then I can bring it that way. We wanted to bring it that way, correct? So we want to do like this. Now I'm gonna check it. Now you can see the reveal is about the same. It's about a quarter of an inch all the way. That doesn't mean they're tight, so we still need to bring that in a little bit. Right, so now we need to adjust this cap and bring it over. Here we go guys, that's tight. I like it. As long as it don't rub, we're good to go. That's gonna do it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed today's presentation if you did help us out by smashing the like button and if you want more videos from this channel don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications by the way i did want to mention we have two other flooring channels and if you're interested in that type of stuff we'll leave a link for those channels in the description other than that i think we've done our work for today and i'm ready to head on out of here it's starting to get a little bit late once again guys thanks for hanging with me all the way to the end i hope i'll see you guys on the next one take care holla